Yeah, Lorena, we are hearing reports of a submerged car in Gladeview in a residential street just like this one. And I want you to take a look at what we're seeing here in North Miami. Thankfully, no cars fully submerged, but cars definitely close to being uh, sub somewhat submerged. Where I'm standing right Right now, it's about knee high height, but when you deep into this canal, we're talking about waist high, waist deep, and that's what we've been seeing people trek through all morning trying to seek safety. In North Miami, dozens of families trekking through high stagnant water, escaping their flooded homes. The good thing is that we still have power. Um, the bad thing is that we have about six inches of water inside the house. Okay. Right. So um, still, water still hasn't come down, so we've lost all the furniture. Residents confused as to why the water hasn't lowered. Septic tanks gurgling, pushing sewage out onto streets. First responders rescuing those who can't escape, while others watch in disbelief. When I woke up this morning, I'm like, oh my God, there's still more cars out there. Just eight minutes down the road. Well, I'd say at least a foot of water, maybe more. Donna's home was flooded, her garage in disarray and damaged. Cats seeking shelter where they can. It's sad. I mean, you know, this is your home and it's getting ruined and things aren't seeming to happen to solve the issue. Donna's planning on pumping water out like her neighbors from across the street, sending this video and this one. Of cars pushing water back towards their home. <laughs> now residents are picking up the pieces. We'll start over the best we can do. But it's sad. Thankful for the reprieve, but anxious for what's to come. And you can see here some of those residents that we were speaking of earlier treading through this water. Again, that's been happening all morning. Uh, residents who live further down the street just trying to seek safety. And again, all of the homeowners that you just heard from, they said that they just have never experienced anything quite like this. And I'm sure that's the case across our viewing area. Let's turn things over to Bree Buckley. She is in Hollywood, Florida. Bree, what are you seeing this morning? Yeah, thank you, Sophia. You know, here at Hollywood, the the road here has been flooded all day. This is the first time, actually, since we've been out here in the last few hours uh, that we have seen the road. Uh, this was all completely covered, uh, slowly dissipating. Now uh, people have their cars that they've been coming out trying to get either towed or uh, see if they still run. But, you know, the scene was a lot different last night. The aftermath of heavy rainfall scattered around South Florida. This mobile home park in Hallandale Beach partially underwater. In Hollywood, an entire neighborhood turned into a lake. Aerial views showing how widespread the flooding was, with cars stalled out, abandoned up and down multiple streets. Four and a half years yeah. I bought this house, but we didn't know that this flood area be from Turkey in Istanbul. Olivia Oya Captain says she opened her doors, helping people trapped in the water outside her home. They stuck on the street. We take out from the car's windows. We try to help. Tow trucks busy all day, even towing one another. As others try to see if their car made it, anxious for what's to come. Are you nervous for later? Yeah, yeah but it's the same thing every year or so, yeah. The Edgewater neighborhood in Fort Lauderdale was one of the hardest hit last April during historic flooding. It was close. I mean, it was within an inch of coming in threshold. <laughs> Jorge Blanco says this time the water came inches from his home, hoping it doesn't get worse as the day goes on. Well, I scared of the water going back. Yeah. But the drain is not working. We did see Broward County officials out here surveying the damage. They say that the Hollywood Hallandale area that we're in here is among the hardest hit in the county. Of course, as many are now bracing for what's next with the expected rainfall and potential flooding. For now, live in Hollywood, Bree Buckley, NBC6 News.